If you're looking for the best Fender Stratocaster, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have American Ultra Stratocaster. Going into some of those high-end territories, the American Ultra Stratocaster comes as one of Fender's most prestigious electric guitars. This model is made of quality materials, bringing some of the best traits among all Stratocasters. Looking at its price tag, it's obvious that it's intended for professional players, which you can also see with its traits. While we have some classic design and build traits that you find on most strats, this one brings in a special set of pickups, improved bridge, and locking tuners. It's an all-around awesome instrument with some different variants. There's also a version that has a humbucker pickup in the bridge position and a rosewood fretboard instead of Maple 1. Instead of the standard old-school Fender Bridge, we have the company's 2-point deluxe synchronized Tremolo 1 that offers great stability in tuning. This is, of course, accompanied by amazing deluxe die cast, sealed locking tuners that keep things in check. As for the pickups, most Ultra Stratocaster models come with three noiseless single-coil pickups. While working and sounding as regular single-coil pickups, they feature noticeably reduced hum levels, making these guitars very useful for both studio and live settings. Moving on to the next at number two with American Professional Roman II Stratocaster. Simply dubbed as Professional Roman II Stratocaster, this new high-end instrument comes with some upgrades and changes, mostly when it comes to its performance and feel. The neck profile and the heel have been adjusted a little to bring easier access to higher frets. While it's pretty much the standard combo that we get with most Fender Strats, there are a few variants that also include a rosewood fretboard instead of the conventional maple one. Other than that, we can notice that Fender keeps their game at a high level with a high level of tonal quality. What's important to note is that Fender included upgraded bridges on professional Roman II strats. We have a two-point tremolo with vintage-style saddles. The cold-rolled steel block is enhanced and even helps add some sustain in there. Additionally, the instrument also comes with brand new V-Mod Roman II single-coil pickups. While it's still the classic strat tone, these pickups give a more balanced and articulate response all while managing to keep that bright, jangly high end of the spectrum in there. The number three position is held by Ventura 50 Stratocaster. Another throwback to the old times is the Fender's Ventura 50 series. The Stratocaster model here has a very peculiar neck design with its alpha V profile that was very popular in the 1950s, as well as a 7.25-inch fretboard radius and 21 frets. The pickups also do an amazing job at replicating the old-school rock and roll stuff. Aside from the alder body, we have a standard maple neck with the maple fretboard. Although a simple guitar, these are high-quality, specially selected tonewoods. And with its hardware and other traits, Ventura 50's Stratocaster once again comes back to the old times. We have Fender's two-point synchronized tremolo accompanied by vintage-style locking tuners. The pickups are their vintage-style 50s, Next, at number 4, we have Fender Player Stratocaster. Fender Player Series are the cheapest ones, although they bring some of the basic qualities that we love about these guitars. You will get all of the standard configurations of a Stratocaster, with its three single-coil pickups and a standard Fender's tremolo bridge. Aside from the guitar's 22 frets, all of its features are somewhat vintage-oriented. In short, this is a fairly simple and affordable guitar that's a perfect choice for any musician who wants a nice strap while keeping things at a budget-friendly level. With the Player Series Stratocaster, we also get the standard alder body and a maple neck with a maple fretboard. There's nothing very unusual about the Player Strat compared to what we're used to. With the Instruments Player Series Onico 5 Strat single coil pickups, you'll get that classic twang that all of Fender players adore. Of course, this is all accompanied by a standard configuration with a five-way pickup selector switch, one volume knob, and two tone knobs. Tone knobs are in control of the guitar's middle and neck pickups. The number five position is held by Fender Player Stratocaster HSS. Another one from the Player series, the Strat comes with almost the same specs as the previous one. The only difference is the humbucker pickup in the bridge position. With such a configuration, you'll be able to cover some heavier territories. I'd say that this particular Strat comes in handy for those who play hard rock and classic heavy metal. 
although it's useful for plenty of other guitar-oriented genres as well. Other than that, it's a pretty comfortable instrument to play. Just like the regular version that we already described above. As already mentioned, the specs are the same except for the pickups. Once again, we have a classic strap with a body made of alder and a standard maple neck with a maple fretboard forming a bolt on construction with the body. The pickups on this one are the standard Player Series Alinco 5 ones. The humbucker in the bridge is just a little brighter compared to what you'd expect from it, taking this instrument closer to the classic Fender territories. It's all accompanied by the standard configuration featuring a five-way switch, volume knob, and two-tone knobs. The bridge is the same classic Fender Tremala one. The number six position is dominated by FSR Mahogany Blacktop Stratocaster HHH. Now, this one is pretty unusual, making it one of the most unique Fender strats on the market. The first important difference comes with the mahogany body, which you don't see that often with Stratocasters. Additionally, the guitar has the triple humbucker pickup configuration, making even classic Gibson Les Paul lovers excited about it. While not exactly a super Strat guitar, it still gets pretty close with such an innovative approach to features. In case you love the Fender Stratocaster aesthetics and ergonomic qualities, yet prefer a somewhat darker tone and an unusual twist with the middle humbucker, then this is the guitar that you'll want to be looking into. The fretboard is also different here, not only with the materials used but with a slightly less round radius of 9.5 inches. Choosing mahogany as the main body material for a Fender Stratocaster is a little unconventional. Some would even call it controversial. Nonetheless, it's a very fresh twist to the classic guitar, resulting in a slightly less bright output compared to regular Stratocasters. Other than that, we have a classic maple neck that feels like most of the other Strat necks. The only difference here is the Pal Ferro fretboard with a flatter radius. This is yet another feature that brings it somewhat closer to the classic Super Strat guitar concept. While we have the classic Fender bridge and tuning machines, these all come with a golden finish, giving the instrument a very glamorous look. What's more, the hardware is pretty durable, making the instrument fairly reliable in the long run as well. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Deluxe Stratocaster. Although it seems similar to the Ultra series, the Deluxe Stratocaster is a somewhat stripped-down version of it. Nonetheless, this instrument can deliver not only a great tone but also a very comfortable and user-friendly performance. We have a standard alder body, although not as prestigious compared to the Ultra series. This is followed by a maple neck and a standard maple fretboard in all of the model's variants. The instrument is equipped with a two-point vintage style synchronized tremolo and the standard locking tuners. What makes it so amazing for this price are the vintage noiseless pickups. There's also a version with the humbucker pickup in the bridge position, along with a standard coil split feature. In some way, this is a semi-budget friendly instrument. It's not something that you'd buy if you're looking for the cheapest Strat out there, but it's still not as prestigious as the Ultra Strat. The number 8 position is held by American Original 60s Stratocaster. American Original series brings some of these old things back to life. Just like with this 60s inspired model, we have the thick C-neck profile, a radius of 9.5 inches, and a very unique tone with the pure vintage 65 single coils. Of course, this is accompanied by a fine rosewood fretboard. It's a great throwback instrument rounded up nicely with its 21 vintage style frets. The guitar comes with the alder body, maple neck, and a rosewood fretboard. The addition of this fretboard brings us back to the 1960s when Fender made such instruments. This is all accompanied by a nice-looking nitro finish. The great thing about this model is that it convincingly replicates strats that Fender made back in the 1960s, even with the hardware. We have their six saddle pure vintage synchronized tremolo and pure vintage tuning machines. Then we have Fender 65 pure vintage single coils that managed to precisely capture what their old pickups from the 1960s did. Of course, this is accompanied by standard controls for volume and tone, just like on any classic Strat. Next, at number 9, we have limited heavy metal Stratocaster. And here we come to Fender's twist to the Super Strat concept. Clearly inspired by the 1980s, both in terms of features and aesthetics, Limited Heavy Metal Strat takes you to Shredtown with its thin C-profile neck, 17-inch fretboard radius, and a very unusual and rear scale length of 25.1 inches. It's all accompanied by amazing heavy metal pickups and their HSS configuration, but aside from the slightly aggressive tone of these pickups, you can do pretty much any genre with this instrument. 
It's also a popular model among jazz fusion players. Making a bass with Stratocaster is somewhat weird, but it works quite well in this setting. Aside from that, we have a standard maple neck with the addition of a rosewood fretboard. This track comes with a Floyd Rose double locking tremolo bridge and a standard locking nut, all followed by Gatto tuners for perfect tuning stability. Then we have Fender's specially designed pickups for this guitar, featuring stronger output and a slightly sharper and rougher tone. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Dave Murray's signature Stratocaster. Although not a super strat, Dave Murray's signature strat is intended for virtuoso players who love heavier tones. We have a classic design and traits of old school strats, with the addition of a Floyd Rose tremolo, Samer Duncan hot rails pickups, and a comfortable C neck. It's a pretty great and practical instrument for any metal player who still likes some classic features, aside from an alder body and maple neck. The guitar comes with a rosewood fretboard, puts it closer to those classic 60s strats. Other than that, it's obvious that these are specially selected quality materials, putting this guitar ahead of many of this price category. The guitar is equipped with a Floyd Rose double locking tremolo system, locking nuts, and vintage style tuners. But the best thing about this strat is the pickup configuration. With two hot rails in neck and bridge positions and a JB Jr. in the middle, we get a diverse and unique tonal palette. The output of these pickups is a blend of vintage-oriented and modern tones. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.